Fontaine! Unable to see the true horror around you! Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? OK, then. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry? You should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Even my dreams are soaked with gloom. Is there only pain and suffering in this world?
search for the Swanborough Cordial. Good evening. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. When science fails you, this is... 